Hello, ERBC families. I am glad that you're here with us today in this devotional. I am glad that you took some time from your day to read uh, the Bible with me and, and learn a little bit more about what God is trying to teach us. Uh, today, I will be concluding talking about the Beatitudes with a great verse uh, from the same chapter. So it's from Matthew 5, verse uh, 13 to 16, and it says, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven heaven. So what does it really mean to be the salt and the light of the world? You know, I would like to start by saying that salt is the most necessary spice when you're cooking if you or when you're eating. If you add a little bit salt to your food, it actually enhances the flavors and bring out those um, ingredients that you have put and start wondering, you know, what, what, what's in the whole dish, right? So it's so good. Uh, so salt brings flavor the same way. Um, we are called to be the salt in the world, to bring the goodness and the truth of the world, not just to ourselves, but to others. And how can we be the salt? And how can we bring uh, flavor to earth, right? Well, if you review the Beatitudes, it actually gives you the answer to how to be the salt in the world, right? Uh, we learned that uh, we can be peacemakers and love others and, and be mediators and, and help to bring a stop to a conflict. Another way how you can be at the salt in the world is by bringing comfort to those who are mourning, those who are suffering. Uh, when you fight for righteousness, for justice, that's another way how you can show the light and the salt of, uh, to be the salt uh, to the world. Um, another way is by being humble, right? And, and show Christ's humility to others through your actions and your conversations. So there's so many ways how God is showing us from before, in the verses before, how to be the salt and the light. And you know what happens when we practice these Beatitudes? What happens is that people can see the light of Jesus Christ shining through our lives. And then they will start glorifying our Father in heaven. So I will be praying that together we can be the salt in the light in the world and that people can see through our actions that we have Christ Jesus as our Savior. Until next time, bye-bye church.